Good morning, friends. Welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Christy, and this I'm Miss Angela, and we've got some good things for you today. We do. Um, but before we get started, I uh, just want to bring to your attention, friends, that next week not next week, the no week weeks. after, yep. June 9th, June 9th, we're will doing be a summer reading club kickoff, uh, right? And it'll be on Wednesday down at the rec center. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then I've got some good show and tells for you based on today's story time, which okay. is about under the sea or in the sea. And mm -hmm. Miss Angela and I have some good stories for you, but let's go ahead and get started with our hello song. So friends okay. out there, get up and join us. Okay. Happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're bananas and you know it, let it ring. If you're bananas and you know it, let it ring. If you're bananas and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're bananas and you know it, let it ring. If you're beautiful and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're beautiful and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're beautiful and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're beautiful and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Oh, good job, friends. Good job, friends. Okay, so, Miss Angela. Uh huh. Oh, we're still in May, guys. We're still in May, but, but our month is almost full. What day is full. it? So, okay. today is May. The 26th, and it's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. So we just have a couple more days in May, and then we'll be in June. Yes, and then summer. summer. <laughs> I like summer. I don't like how hot it gets, but I do love summer. All right, so Miss Angel, let's see if we can count this. Friends out there, okay. you count with us, okay? A lot okay? of numbers, Miss Christy. I know. You think we can do it? <laughs> I hope so. All right, let's try. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Oh man, that was a lot of numbers. That was a lot. So again, like Miss Angela said, there's a couple more days here in May, mm -hmm. and then we start June, and then June 9th is our summer reading kickoff. Yeah. Okay? Alright, so... Today, we you said it's a day of the week. Ta-da! Oh, I can read that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can't read that, Miss Chris. Um, oh, okay. No, I'll try it. You'll try it? Okay. Well, I didn't know. That's what I'm doing. Okay. I can read it, but you can't read it. Mm -hmm. How about that? Yeah, okay. There we go. Ta-da! Teamwork. Um, teamwork, that's teamwork. right. We have to help each other sometimes. That's right. Friends, you too. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's say the days of the week, friends, okay? Days of the week. Sunday, Sunday Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Oh, good job. Right. Good job, friends. Good job, Miss Angela. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we're going to briefly touch on weather because we got a lot oh, yeah. to, to show you today. So, all right. So. Friends, if you're out there, what do you notice about the weather? Um, I notice it's sunny today. I notice it's very hot, like humid. Is it, would you say it's warm? I would say it's warm. All it's right. pretty warm. It looks like because it's summer is coming and summer gets hotter. Oh yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I yeah. think I think right now it's sunny and warm. Yeah. But it's nice because it's been raining for days and now it's not raining. I have to look at the words. Yes, it's, it's nice that it's not raining. We did need the rain though. Mm -hmm. The plants, mm -hmm. the trees, everything well needs grown. the needs the rain. But man, huh, it makes it hot afterward. Yep. So today, friends, the weather Perfect. today is sunny, sunny and warm. warm. Okay. All right, so okay, I'm so excited about this story time. Okay. I love things that are in the sea. 
All right. Granted, I don't like to go too far out in the sea because you never know because you can't really see. Right. But I've got some things to show you before we get started on our uh, story time today. Okay. And I'm going to have you guess too. I mean, I know okay. you know. You're pretty smart. Okay. Asia's, Asia's pretty smart. All right. Friends, do you know what this is? I'm going to come a little closer so you can see it. I'll give you a hint. It's squishy. Oh, is that a sponge? It is a sponge. Did you know? This is actually a sea sponge, which is, it, is also is called... That an, is that an animal that lives in the sea? It is an animal. Oh. Sponges are actually animals, friends. Cool. It's also called sea wool. Okay. I, I don't want to wear it. It is. It's also oh, wet. Wow. Sorry. I put water on it so it'll be moist. Okay. When you when you don't put water on them, it gets hard. when you buy them, usually they're real hard. Okay. But they're, they're not breakable. That's good. <laughs> so anyway, this is called a sea sponge, which is also sea wool. Mm -hmm. which is an animal and did you know fun weird fact okay weird fact that these have been living for like 2300 years not the same ones not like the same ones, ones. okay they okay. actually have an average lifespan one sponge could live up to 200 years wow 200 That's years than people live that well yes I'm like, I'm like, I've seen, I was like, no, I'm people like, lived 100, but this, we're talking but 200. Is that's like twice big. as long as most people. Right, so. right. And they also can get to be about 11 feet wide. So, wow. Miss Angela, how tall are you? I am five and a half feet. And I am five four. So, if yeah. you add us together and put a couple more inches to it, that's how long mm -hmm. those things can grow. That's so, long. and they filter that's the seawater. Did you know that? I thought oh. that was pretty interesting. They're that's they're cool. all over. So they filter. The cleaner. Yes. Okay, cool. my next thing. Oh, and I okay. love these things. Okay. I love these things. I found one once when I was in uh, Central America. I didn't bring it home. I was afraid to. <gasps> oh, I know what that is. I bet our friends all know what that is, too. Yeah, friends, can you tell what this is? It's a sea star. It's a sea star. Yeah, starfish. Sometimes they're called starfish. Starfish or sea star. Mm -hmm. Another fun fact about this, and I'll come close so you guys can see it. Right here in the middle on the underside, that's where they eat. Oh, that's their mouth? Yes, their mouth is right smack dab in the center. Huh. And on the outside, which you can't really see, but they have little eye holes on oh. the outside. So their eyes are on the ends of their legs? Yes, that's isn't that weird. awesome? And they're called arms. Okay. And this is one of those creatures, not this one, because this one's been yeah. uh, loved a lot. Mm -hmm. He hasn't been in the water a long time. Mm -hmm. um, when one of their arms breaks off, Oh, they can grow it back? It grows back! So How cool, cool is that? That is cool. All right. I got another, a couple more. Okay. A couple more. Try to be careful with them. I don't want to break them. Yep. This is the one I'm afraid I'm going to break. Okay. This. Oh, I, yeah. Now, there's a couple of beaches mm -hmm. down here in Texas that have these two. Friends, can you see what that is? It's a big one. It's a sand dollar. It's a sand dollar. And almost, it is uh, relative to, like a sister shell, mm -hmm. to the starfish. Mm -hmm. And just like that, the starfish, on the bottom, even though this doesn't have it, this is where That's they the eat. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can tell how old a sea star is. And I don't know if you can by see this. How big it is? Mm -mm, oh. By the rings that are around there. You can barely see it because it's very old and it just, but by rings, kind of like a tree. Well, you can tell that. how old it is by the rings. Oh, yeah. You can see the little bumps. Right. And these little spines. Mm -hmm. I forgot what they were called. I wrote it down, but I don't, I don't remember what they're called. But these actually help them filter algae in okay. so that they can eat the algae and the mic okay. microscopic organisms in the ocean. Um, there is a beach, like I said, down here in Texas that when I was younger, many years ago, mm -hmm. We would go and walk the beach in the mornings and you would find hundreds of sand dollars. I mean, smaller ones. Yeah. Obviously this one's a that one's pretty, pretty big, big. Yeah. pretty big. And just like the starfish, they can live pretty long lives. Okay, I got just one more. Okay. This one, this is very oh, small, but shell. these can get to be about this big, mm -hmm. depending on where you are. Yeah. You know what this is called? Uh, conch. Shell? This is a conch. She, you're right. Nice. It's a conch. And sometimes people listen to them. You can hear the ocean. I can't really hear it in this. It's too small. It's too little. But this actually serves as a home to some critters, mm -hmm. like sea slugs, snails, crabs, in they the ocean. The they make a the home in there, right? So anyway, those were some fun things I just wanted to show cool. you guys. I got some other stuff, but I don't know what I did with them. 
So there's other things that live in the in the ocean mm -hmm. that we're more familiar with. Yep. They get to be really big. They turtles. have well turtles, yes. Okay. They have three fins. Three fins. They have a dorsal fin. Oh. Okay. And sometimes people are scared of these things. Are they sharks? They are sharks. Mm -hmm. And interesting fact about sharks, even though I don't have one to show you guys, and I'm probably glad I don't. Uh-huh. They, there are over 440 different species of sharks. Okay. Did not know that myself. I know there are a bunch of little ones. Yes. And then there's a bunch of big ones. And then so. there's really, 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 really big ones. <laughs> and way long ago, there was a megalodon, which is bigger than any shark in the ocean. Um, and so they like eat off of, mm -hmm, yeah. they eat off of other animals and fish in the ocean. Mm -hmm. And did you know that their skin, even though it looks so smooth and cool looking, mm -hmm. It feels like sandpaper. Oh, I didn't know that. Isn't that cool? I just, I was, I love have, ocean things. I, I just don't have, like to be in it that they often. They have lots and lots of teeth, and when they lose a tooth, they yes. have another tooth that comes right in right Exactly. So and they, some sharks have back. a couple of rows mm -hmm. of teeth. I mean, like great whites, mm -hmm. they do. Yeah. So anyway, those are some fun facts about some critters that are in the ocean. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, Miss uh -huh. Angela, I yep. think we should get started with our stories. What okay. story have you got for us today? I have a story about the ocean. It's not in the ocean, but it's about a girl who goes to the ocean. So it's called Jules versus the Ocean. Uh, let's see. I've got a very special page in here. What page is that? The title page. The title page. So this is Jules versus the Ocean by Jesse Sima. Jules is going to make the biggest, fanciest, most excellent castle that has ever been built. Her sister will be so impressed. Maybe the ocean will help. Okay, so she starts building her castle next to the ocean. Let's see. Splash! Oh, nope. no. The ocean didn't help. Hmm. That's okay. Jules will build an even bigger, fancier, more excellent castle all by herself. Her sister will be so impressed. Look, she's got two little bucket pools there. That's pretty good. That's a good start to a castle. Slosh. Oh, oh no. no. Jules thinks the ocean might be out to get her. Her sister assures her that this happens to everyone. Oh, and look at all those other kids building really fancy castles behind her. Hmm. Jules isn't sure about what her sister just said. Let's see. If Jules wants to make the biggest, fanciest, most excellent castle, she will need to keep an eye on Ocean. So she's watching. The Ocean's coming to get her castle. Slap! Oh no! Not today, Ocean. Enough is enough. <laughs> Jules will not be pushed around. She will stand her ground. <laughs> Wait. Where are her feet? She's standing her ground and the Ocean's coming up and covering her feet. It's a trap! <gasps> No! Look, the ocean's taking her bucket. Oh no! Bucket! Bucket's going on an adventure without her. How is Jules supposed to build the biggest, fanciest, most excellent <laughs> castle now with no bucket and no hope? Her sister says the ocean isn't doing this on purpose. Hmm. Maybe she's right. But who needs a bucket? So she, her sister's helping her build a castle now. Yeah, and teamwork. Mm -hmm. Teamwork. Jules cannot believe it. Her sister is so impressed. That's a really, That's cool, a castle. really cool castle. This is definitely the biggest, fanciest, most excellent. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. The big wave. Crash. Oh. That was. Most excellent! <laughs> and look, she got her bucket back. Yeah, it brought, the, it brought the bucket back to her. They tell their mom all about the castle and how the ocean wanted to smash it. Mom assures them that that happens to everyone. Mom explains how the ocean waves are controlled by lots of things, mostly by the moon. Did you know that, Miss Christie? I figured it had something to do with the waves. Mm -hmm. Yep, the moon is what helps pull the ocean waves. Next time, Jules and her sister will have to keep an eye on the moon. <laughs> and that is the end of I Jules like that story. the Ocean. I like that story. So friends, where, where can you find the ocean at? It's at a, at a beach. beach. Mm -hmm. A beach. Mm -hmm. So that's another place near the ocean is a beach yep. where you can play in the sand and 
Yeah. I didn't have any sand to show you. I have some colored sand, but that's not typical of what you'd see at, at a real ocean. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, um, free skate. I think we should. And then I've got a story for you guys. All right. So stand up. Everybody stand up. Here we go. Just a minute. We're gonna jump, 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 jump around the room Cause that's how this game goes We're gonna jump, 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 jump around the room Until the whistle blows Then stop, freeze, and stay that way Till the music starts to play we're gonna march, 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 march around the room Cause that's how this game goes We're gonna march, 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 march around the room Until the whistle blows Then stop, freeze, and stay that way Till the music starts to play gets my blood going each day that's good okay friends so here is my book I open it wide to see all the pictures that are inside today's book that I chose is called crab cake and it's by Andrea Surumi that's a cool name and then in the bottom it says turning the tide together so maybe that has a key to it okay my title page looks a little different than the front but here it is and it says Crab Cake, Turning the Tide Together by Andrea, Andrea, excuse me, Surumi. Under the sea where the sunlight touches sand lies a place that's home to many incredible creatures. Clownfish hides in the stinging anemone. Manta ray gets cleaned. Sea turtle holds her breath. Zang swim in schools. Zang is a or tang those are different that's a school fish they're they're small fish and scallops does the loop-de-loops and crab bakes cakes that looks pretty cool that looks like a really pretty cake look at that one mm -hmm. I look at the fish wondering what are you doing seahorse pretends to be seaweed spiny lobster looks for a new home Parrotfish crunches coral and dolphin blows bubble rings. Toadfish sings. Frogs sing. They do. They really do. Puffer fish puffs up. Octopus hides in a coconut. That means someone probably threw the shell in there. And Mora wet moray eel pops out of her cave. And crab bakes cakes. Look at all that she's making. She's baking cakes and handing them out to friends. Snapper eats and eats and eats and eats. Snapper is a type of fish. And the venomous lionfish does whatever she pleases. That's a lionfish. They almost look like puffer fish, but they're not. Oh boy. And crab bakes cakes. But look, <laughs> she's giving it to a friend who's, uh, it's like a chain of command here. Oh no, oh no. So life goes on under the sea, 
And look at Crab has friends helping her bake cake now. Until one night, there's a big splash. Oh no. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like a boat with some stuff that's falling in. Oh no, it looks like someone dumped a lot of stuff in the ocean. That's not good. We gotta try and keep our oceans clean. Oh, look, our friends look really shocked and surprised. Okay, parrot fr fish freezes, snapper freezes, shark freezes, puffer fish freezes, clownfish freezes, spiny lobster freezes, seahorse freezes, sea turtle freezes, octopus freezes, even lionfish freezes. And crab, look, what do you think she's doing? She's baking cakes. <laughs> she, she's like, okay, she's not gonna let this get to her. She's gonna bake a cake. Okay, what's going on? Shh, did crab just bake a cake? Hide, for how long? I don't know. Crab did, crab did bake a cake. Hey, can I have some, says Snapper. Sure. May I? Of course. Can I have the part with the shell? Of course. Finally, everybody comes together and they're all looking at all the stuff in there, but they're talking about the cake and they're like, ugh, all this stuff is everywhere. It was loud. So they're, they're kind of scared. We have to help our kelp. What do we do now? Thanks, Crab. This cake is good. We've got to think of something. Boo, glad we're all here. All right, anyone have any ideas? And if you can see that, that's a shrimp. That's a little shrimp talking. Oh, cute. So they're all waiting and looking patiently. Lobster lifts, snab, uh, snapper shoves, clownfish rolls, turtles toe, dolphins drag, clams encourage. Look at that, they're clapping for everybody. How funny. <laughs> they're clapping their shell. Manta ray moves. See, they're hauling stuff on their backs. Octopus inks. Sharks carry. And sea lions lug. Everyone helps. Oh, look at what they did. You can see it. They put everything back on the dock and they said, come get your junk. Oh, they cleaned up the ocean. They cleaned up the ocean. Look at the people looking like, what is this? <laughs> Under the sea, where sunlight still touches sand, incredible creatures go on swimming, playing and doing what they do. Especially Crab, who goes on to make another cake. All right. Well, that's great. And that's the I end of my book, it. friends. Uh, these will be available here at the library for you. Mm -hmm. All right, Miss Angela, we've talked about... Oh, we yeah. up the ocean, but I just wanted to mention yes. our crafts. So we're going to make, we have these beautiful jellyfish. Take that closer. Okay, so your craft this week, if you guys come in, it's a jellyfish and there is strings attached there in the in the craft bag that you can glue on and make your own little jellyfish. And then we also have the coloring sheet and there's plenty of books here to check out on the ocean life. Uh, Nonfiction, which is real material and fiction, which is funny stories and, and fun stories. So we've talked about the ocean. We yep. kind of touched on what we've got. Okay, Miss Angela. Texas goodbye. Song. I think it's time for our Texas goodbye. Here we go. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Stomp your feet. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink your eyes. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye, friends. Yeehaw! And don't forget, Summer Reading Club starts on June 9th. Yep. 